The environment, biodiversity, natural capital, ecosystem services, valuing nature. People keep asking us to take better account of these ideas in policy and decision-making processes. Now, wouldn't it be neat if there was an easy way of doing that? And then there's growth. People keep telling us that it's important too, but growth is more than just about financial returns. Factoring in nature can help your bank balances and quality of life too. So is there a neat way of doing both? Let me introduce you to our neat tree. We've devised it to help you take better account of nature in the work that you do, whoever you are. The tree provides a powerful metaphor for the value of nature and the multiple benefits it generates and the cyclical nature of policy and decision-making processes. Now, how neat is that? The neat tree depicts within its canopy an ideal set of stages found in many typical policy and decision-making cycles. From the range of ideas or options at the start to collecting good survey evidence to assessing it leading to an effective plan and delivery programme with evaluation embedded in a continuous cycle of refreshment and adaptation. You'll probably recognise these stages in your own work. So the neat tree unpacks each stage. It suggests the questions you should ask and leads you into our specially adapted ecosystem-proof toolkit that will help you demonstrate the potential for improved economic, social and environmental outcomes. The neat tree takes its guiding principles from the ecosystem approach. This is a holistic way of making decisions to help deliver sustainable development. It puts humans at the centre of the environment. Our activities that affect the environment and our future that also depends on that environment. Thus, each of the neat tree tools in our toolkit have been ecosystem proof to help you understand and incorporate the value of nature in your work. To help you through each stage of the policy and decision making cycle, in addition to our guidance, case studies show how the challenges have been addressed in practice. So we are all on this learning curve. All of us need to be neater. And that's not just for environmentalists. All of us need to recognise and take account of the value of nature in the work we do and the decisions we make. And this is just as relevant for the architect, the engineer, the planner, the business manager, as it is for the environmentalist. But where do you start? Our neat tree provides entry points on our homepage if you're in business or working with the natural environment or built environment or coming at these issues from a community perspective. So the neat tree can be your very good friend. It offers you some preliminary steps that you can take to help you achieve your primary objectives in your agency and personally, but using nature as an asset and not as a constraint. <laughs>